What up world, it's V Watts, eat like me. Welcome back to the channel. Hey y'all, before we hop into this video, do me a favor, make sure y'all go and hit that subscribe button. When you finish watching this video, give it a thumbs up, share, throw me some comments below. If you're new to the channel, here we share our love for family, food, friends, and fun. That's what we're about. We do food challenges, we do food reviews, and you can find some of my favorite recipes that I like to cook. So, you guys, let's hop into this video. All right, y'all. Today, we have a recipe that we're going to dish out for you. And we're going to be cooking my favorite, one of my favorites. I ain't going to say my favorite. It's one of my favorites. Macaroni and cheese. I'm gonna be doing a, actually a five cheese macaroni and cheese. And this is a dish that it took me quite some time to perfect, but I got this recipe down packed to my liking, to my friends liking, to my family liking, and it's, it's, it's really good. And it's simple, it's not really hard. People make macaroni and cheese look so hard sometimes, and it's not, it's really easy. So let's hop into the, these ingredients. So of course, macaroni and cheese, we're gonna need some elbow macaroni. So we got our elbow macaroni right here. And I'm using a one pound box of macaroni. I'm gonna actually drop the ingredients down in the description below. So make sure y'all check the description for the ingredients. We have some salt. We have some paprika. We have some garlic powder. We have some onion powder. This in here is four tablespoons of flour. We're gonna make a roux. And we got all of our cheeses. So like I said, this is a five cheese, mac and cheese. And this is a, I'm using mild cheddar. I'm using extra sharp. Monterey, Monterey Jack. Now I'm not gonna use this whole thing. They didn't have this size, so I had to get this size. I'm just gonna cut this. And I'm using mozzarella, same thing. I'm not gonna use this whole thing. I'm gonna actually cut it in half and we we'll use half of it. And we have some prune cheese. As you guys can see, I got all these ingredients from Walmart. Now with the cheeses, you can use whatever cheese you like, but these are the cheeses that I like in my macaroni and cheese. And this macaroni and cheese you can make with the sauce, you can make probably about two pounds of macaroni with it. But today, I'm only cooking for my household, so I'm only gonna make a pound of macaroni. So I'll probably have some extra cheese sauce left over. We'll see. All right, so we're gonna start by shredding the cheese, okay? Make sure you guys have a uh, pretty good shredder. Don't use uh, anything like this. That's what I used to use, but you know, thanks to the homie G, I've upgraded to the Shredder Deluxe. So we're gonna uh, hop on over here and shred some cheese. Before I shred the cheese, I always make sure I turn my oven on. Make sure you turn it on 375. You want that to preheat because we're gonna be baking this macaroni. And also make sure you go ahead and cook your elbow noodles. Cook it according to the uh, package. You wanna cook it al dente. You don't wanna cook it all the way because it's going in the oven. And uh, when I cook my elbow noodles, I always, any pasta, I always use some type of broth, either chicken broth, seafood, uh, stock, um, it, it just depends on the recipe that I'm doing. But um, I use this or I use chicken powder if I don't have any broth on me. But it just helps season the water and so that way your pasta will have some flavor too. You can also season it with salt, pepper, uh, garlic powder, onion powder, whatever you do, season the pasta water because we don't want to go bland pasta, okay? All right, let's shred this cheese, y'all. Okay, y'all, so we have all of our cheese shredded. So, 
this is what we looking like. We got all the cheese shredded. Now um, the elbow macaroni is cooking right now. Like I say, cook your elbow macaroni according to the packaging. I'm gonna list all the ingredients down in the description so you know exactly how much cheese that I use. But the cheese, you can use as much cheese, as, as little less cheese as you want. Um, that's the beauty of macaroni and cheese. You can make it cheesy or you can make it less cheesy, but I like mine cheesy. Got our cream cheese together. And lastly, you guys, the ingredients that I found in the beginning was you're gonna need some heavy cream. We're gonna use uh, one cup of this and we're gonna use two cups of half and half. So make sure you get your, half, your heavy cream and your half and half. All right, y'all, so we are ready to make the roux. We're gonna go ahead and hop over here to the stove and get the roux for our cheese sauce created. Okay, y'all, so we're gonna get this roux going. Uh, first, we're gonna start off by putting a stick of butter in our pan. And we're gonna let that melt down. All right, y'all, so the butter is melted. So now we're gonna add in our four tablespoons of flour. And we're gonna stir this. And we wanna cook this for about a minute, a minute or two. We just wanna cook out the uh, taste of that flour. We don't wanna be tasting no raw flour, y'all. But make sure you stir it real good. Keep stirring it so we don't have no clumps either. If you need to, turn your burner down. So now we want to go ahead and add in a cup of heavy cream. And want to do two cups of half and half. And we're gonna stir this up. It's gonna be some really good cheese sauce. We'll get our heat back up so we can get this back cooking. All right, so now y'all, we're gonna start incorporating our cheeses. Now, we're not gonna use this whole bowl of cheese in the um, roux. We're gonna put uh, probably about three to four cups of cheese in here. And we wanna save some of this cheese, uh, part three cups in here, and we'll save like probably about a cup of it to go on top of the macaroni when we bake it in the oven. So let's start putting our cheese in. And we got our cream cheese. Mm. I'm gonna start whisking this cheese up so it can start melting. All right, so y'all, while that is melting, we're gonna go ahead and season this. I'm gonna use some uh, smoked paprika. Use any brand smoked paprika you want. This is my favorite brand. The McCormick brand is uh, pretty good as well. So I'm gonna use about a teaspoon of all of these seasonings in here, season to taste. Garlic powder. Some onion powder. Just a tad bit of salt, y'all, because we, we already, we got some salted butter we use in the cheese, have a little salt, so I'm gonna put a tad bit of salt in there. Kosher salt. Kosher salt. We're gonna stir this up. Let this get a nice creamy consistency to it. All right, y'all, so we're gonna um, continue to stir this, and once it gets to the consistency that I want it to, we'll be back, because we'll get ready to pour this over the macaroni and cheese and pop this puppy right into the oven. We got our cheese sauce, and it's uh, at the consistency I, I want it. 
So now we're ready to add it to our noodles. So I'm gonna come over here. I like to mix my stuff in the pot first and then pour it into my baking dish. Just makes things a lot simpler. So we're gonna mix our noodles, cheese off together. So what is looking delicious, delicious, delicious. Well, so you can go ahead and taste this too. Everything's cooked. I don't use egg in my uh, macaroni and cheese. I used to use egg, but I didn't like the texture that the egg gave the macaroni. Gave it like a custardy texture. So I stopped using eggs in my macaroni and cheese and just started making a roux, making a cheese sauce. We're all mixed. Let's hop over here to the counter and get in our dish. Pour it all in the dish. Okay, also we're gonna smooth this on out. And we're gonna take the cheese that we had set aside and top it with some cheese. Put as much cheese on top as you like. Gonna sprinkle a little smoked paprika on top. Just for some color, y'all. Just for some color. And a little flavor. Smoked paprika has some really great flavor. I put this in the oven uh, at 375 degrees. And we're gonna just let the top, the cheese on top, get a nice golden brown color. I like mine to get a little, little crisp on top. So probably about 30 minutes in the oven will do. But just keep an eye out on it. All right, so that's pretty much the basics of the macaroni and cheese. Once it gets done, you, you guys get to see how cheesy it is. But one thing I want to emphasize is the key to some really great macaroni and cheese, y'all, is get the block cheese. Do not get pre-shredded cheese. Uh, it's processed, and you know when things are processed, things happen in between. So get the block cheese, shred it yourself, and I'm telling y'all. This macaroni and cheese is about to be fine, boy. About to grow up. I can't wait till it's done. All right, so I'll see y'all back in a little bit. Macaroni and cheese is done, as you can see. Looks delicious. I take it out the oven. When you take out the oven, make sure you let it sit for about five minutes before you dig into it. So just let everything settle in. And um, yeah, let's uh, give it a taste. Mm. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, some good macaroni and cheese. I ain't even gotta add no more salt or nutty to it because I seasoned my water. I seasoned everything, y'all. So make sure y'all season your water. Season your sauce. If you guys make this recipe, make sure you tag me in it. Let me know how it turned out. And y'all, let's get this video to 100 likes. If I get this video to 100 likes, I'm gonna drop a low carb version of this recipe. Y'all know sweets. She don't eat. Um, like pasta noodles and things so I always have to make a low carb version for her so let's get this video to 100 likes let's say 100 likes yeah 
and I'll drop a little car version of this video. But you guys, thank you for watching. I'm about to finish up dinner. I'm about to smash this macaroni and cheese. Make sure before you go, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you comment below, like, and share. And y'all, I'll be back with another video. Peace.